Hey, TikTokers, how you doing? How you been? I'm Arthur Daniels, and yes, I'm back again. <laughs> how y'all doing? Now, listen, today's sharing time, I'm going to start off with using a phrase that's been running around incorrectly, in my opinion, on TikTok. And then I'm going to explain to you what it means. So, with no further ado, come on in. Let's have a talk. Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. <laughs> Jada Pickett is at it again, just like me. And I do say she is coming forward. I'm going to use my own phrase that people tell me that I have. She's being a little nasty. <laughs> now, I don't know if Jada has decided, look, with that whole fiasco at the Golden Glove Awards or whatever that was, uh, not Golden Glove, but you know what it was. <laughs> the Oscars. <laughs> I guess she said, look, I took some heat on that. And I'm not going to be the Huckleberry no more. I'm not going to be. I'm not the bad guy. <laughs> so people were calling her the B-I-T-C, H's and all of that. And she said, I'm not going to be too many more itches. Because if you're going to call me a thing, well, maybe I should represent like a thing. I don't know if that's what's going through her mind, but she wrote the B-O-O-K. And now it's a talking point that's turned into uh, the new phenomena of the Smiths. And so I would say that, in my opinion, what I think, <laughs> and if you want to hear it, here I go. <laughs> Is that men should stick with the wives of their youth. That's in their best interest. When you fall in love for that very first time. Yeah, I'm pulling some Betty right out on for you old heads. <laughs> that very first time. That's some mm -mm -mm good love. And you ought to like that, baby. Because that first wife, the love of your youth, it's true. Because when she gets with you, when you guys get together and you marry, that love is honored because it comes from a pure heart. She didn't get with you because your money or all that stuff that society says you have to have. Normally, first loves are just innocent and pure and it just is what it is. That simple. And when you mess around... And mess over that first love from a woman. It changes her. And she may or may not fall in love again. But the next time she falls in love, it is first with her head and not her heart. That's like if your first child betrays the mother, she's devastated, she's heartbroken. But if she can get over that devastation and let that first child go, the siblings don't stand a chance. She ain't gonna tolerate too much. <laughs> she's just, she's not. <laughs> she done been through, okay? <laughs> so, so I say that, let me reiterate that that first love is pure. That first love, y'all break up or whatever, if there's a cold, she'll uphold the cold. She's not gonna badmouth you to the children. That's a good woman. Some women, will badmouth you. But a good woman, she's not going to badmouth you to the children. She's going to, you know, handle her hurt on her own. She's not going to come out and later tell all your business. Like, you know, if you really, your girth wasn't really as big as you telling people it is, she ain't going to say nothing. Because <laughs> love covers a multitude of sin, okay? It really does. And so when you get, when you let that one go and you dishonor that one, you may find love again. Now, if you're lucky and you find another pure heart, that's a, a first time love and you marry that. If you mess over that again, the problem really is with you, not that woman. It's with you. So anyway, anyhow, anywho, chances are your second love is going to be with a woman of experience. And again, She's thinking she's going into this, not just with her heart first, but with her head first. And there's so many things that she is not going to tolerate and put up with. And then if, if things go sour, she ain't got to uphold no code. Mm -mm. 
she going to tell the world. And if you see, Jada been telling all Will's business. She's been doing that for a while. Now, I don't know if she feels... More so than slighted, but unmarketable. If she's feeling like, you know what, they done canceled the red table on me. I am no longer as marketable as I once was, but I still got to make this money. So let me write this book. (laughs) And everybody's thrown under the bus. There was a woman, who was she? I don't know what her name was. I can't remember anymore. But she wrote that, they called her Good Head. And she was telling all the good goods. <laughs> Jane was reminding me of that. <laughs> she just coming out. Paul Will. I can't say that I feel sorry for him though. Because look how you treated that first love. Now it's not my business. I wasn't there. I wasn't involved. But what was slipped to the public so she did her kind of dirty. And look at her behavior. She even came on the red table just as sweet and polite and pleasant as a first love usually is. And I don't think, I'm pretty sure, in fact, that she never would have written a book like that because she's had an opportunity and never did. So that first love, think about that. You men that have not been in this situation before, you've never been married Y'all need to respect that first love. If you want a diehard, if you want a writer, that's going to be that first love. Mm -hmm. It certainly is. And if you're not Superman for that first love and you let that go, and once you let it go, you can't get it back. And any good woman And her relationship is going to give you all the warning signs and all the signals. She's going to do all the trying and she's going to warn you. You're getting close to the edge. Turn, Come on back now. Babe, you're headed close to the edge. There's a waterfall. You're going to fall off the cliff. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back to these arms. But no, you hemming and howling and feeling yourself and you going out there and you just running willy nilly into any and everything. Then whoops, you fall over the cliff. And she's right there. She's right there with you. Right before you fall and you reaching out for her to grab your hand, pull you back to safety. Only problem is you're so weighted down, she can't hold your weight. And you plummet to the end. And it's over. So I would say, think about it. I had to stop singing because you know what? I know the song is called Higher Love, but you don't lost that higher love. <laughs> you don't dash it on the rocks, burst your head wide open, and can't nobody help you. You have the time to help yourself. So it's hard to keep it right the first time, but put in that effort, it's worth it. I'm off to Daniels. And that's my opinion. In the meantime, in between time, y'all have the greatest day ever. I know that's what I'm going to do. In spite of whatever comes my way, this smile (laughs) is going to last a long, long while. Bye-bye.